Nigeria's central bank has raised its benchmark lending rate to 16.5% in a sustained push to control inflation and ease the pressure on the Naira. Now, will this work? We'll find out ahead. We have an analyst joining us to discuss this on The Breakfast. Nigeria's National Assembly has passed a student's loan bill which aims to enable students in higher institutions of learning have access to financial assistance. But the question is, is the country ready for this? Ending off the press, we bring you in-depth analysis of today's major newspaper headlines. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. We're reaching you live from our studios in Victoria, Allen, Lagos. Um, first off, we're starting to look at what's been trending on the social space as you usually do. And indeed, uh, the big one, the big one, it was announced uh, uh, earlier this week that President Muhammad Buhari will be unveiling uh, the newly designed or redesigned uh, Naira notes. I want us to take a look at the Naira notes. I'm sure uh, many of you watching have already seen the pictures somewhere on your WhatsApp or on Facebook or on Twitter or on Instagram or at least on TV plus TV Africa. But um, uh, the president unveiled this Naira notes you can see there. Uh, the 200, 500 and 1000 bills, uh, Naira bills were unveiled. Um, it was a much touted redesign, redesign of the Naira. Um, the president unveiled the, the notes at a small ceremony uh, before the Federal Executive Council meeting at the State House in Abuja, uh, the Fact Chamber. He was joined by the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Emefili, who was in attendance uh, during the unveiling ceremony. Uh, meanwhile, at a briefing after the ceremony before the executive, uh, Federal Executive Council uh, meeting, the Central Bank of Nigeria governor debunked insinuations that the early unveiling of the new notes is a means to target any Nigerians. He appealed to members of the public, you know, uh, to rest easy, saying there is no need to perpetuate any uh, such information. And of course, uh, lots of reactions following the unveiling, um, you know, both for and against, both for and against. Um, of course, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, um, we're expressing the disappointment, you know, with the, the new Naira notes. Um, uh, not a few people expected or said they expected to have uh, really a redesign, something different uh, from what they know. But you can see the 1,000 looks like the old 1,000. It's just that it's blue. The 200 looks like the old 200. It's just that it's red. Uh, the 500 looks like the old 500. It's just that it's green. You know, there are some pictures that you could, you'd see side by side the comparison. Now, some people call it recoloring. Some people call it decoloring. Some say one color was taken out of it. Some say they just applied a new color. Uh, but the CBN gave reasons for it. And uh, the debate has also been about, you know, whether there's any there's anything to complain about. Bearing in mind the they have a name and whether they change the design, the write up, the font, you know, the arrangement, uh, the positioning, the, you know, and all that, or they just change the color. Um, some people feel what matters is their new Naira notes different from the old one and the CBN has an aim to achieve and that will be achieved. Um, but what has the CBN, the Central Bank of Governor, been saying? Of course, the redesign will take effect from uh, Thursday, December 15, 2022, and uh, the old Naira notes will finally uh, be phased out and uh, will cease to be legal tender in the country by January 31, 2023. Some people feel this is too quick and too hasty. Um, but but what, what has the Central Bank of Nigeria, or had they been given as reasons for the so-called redesign? I mean, in fact, some people have had to bring out the dictionary to argue on the word redesign and whether this really constitutes uh, a redesigning in the real sense of the word. And uh, I've had arguments for and against that make sense. We'll stay in the middle a little bit for now. But 
the, the NARA note, according to the Central Bank of Nigeria, was redesigned, number one, to address the issue of individuals who've made a currency fraud. Their main source of income are people who have hidden money. Uh, they have stolen, for instance, for instance, uh, would either find a way to change it by taking the money out or would need uh, to give it, uh, would ne not need it, that's not need the money, given the change in the design of the NARA. So those who've kept money will be forced to bring it out or they have to take it, you know, somewhere else and spend it or just it goes to waste. So that's the first one. They want people who've kept monies in their houses excuse me, in their soccer ways, uh, in their pits, pits at home, maybe buried it in the ground, stored it in septic tanks somewhere, stored it in, in rooms somewhere, in one government house, if you want them to bring the money out um, and take it to the bank. Second thing, they, the CBN has said that uh, this uh, currency change aims to deal a fatal blow to the growing kidnapping and ransom industry. Well, yesterday, there was some news. I consider it sensational a bit, but there was some news that uh, uh, bandits in Zamfara had abducted certain persons and kidnapped certain persons asking for the new Naira. And I laughed because I said, well, uh, <laughs> do people have the new Naira in their hands yet? You know, those who were kidnapped. Uh, I think it was a bit sensational. I mean, people were just kidnapped and probably, of course, it was made into such a story. I don't know. Uh, the third reason uh, why the central bank said they, they embarked on this so-called redesign is uh, they hope to use it as a way to lower the rate of inflation. Like we said, this mop-up of uh, the liquidity in the system, that's cash, you know, around that you can find on the streets, in the houses, outside of the bank. They want to take it away from, uh, from, from the streets, from the system, all right, and put it in the banking, in the bank, so that if people find it harder to spend, maybe the prices will come down. Um, it's what they're, they're saying. That's the whole uh, macroeconomic idea behind this. Then the fourth one is uh, they hope to control the amount of money in circulation. Of course, it's linked to reason number three, all right. And um, the Central Bank of Nigeria's governor, had also has also said that with this um, redesign, this is what he said yesterday, you would have to go through a lot of hurdles, a lot of bureaucratic processes, fill a lot of forms, all right, uh, present a lot of evidence to be able to withdraw monies in large amounts from the central bank. So that is another uh, another thing that they're bringing to to the table, all right. So you would find it harder. To withdraw money from the bank in large amounts you have to fill so many forms i'm sure the reasons they want to make sure uh that people use the cashless model uh, of uh, financial transactions as much as possible they want people to be able to um you know make transactions without necessarily holding uh paper money number one number two they're aiming to use the filling of these forms uh to ensure that uh, you know, if you provide data and details that they can they can trace the money through the system, wherever it's going to, they can have at least know who is sending money where, uh, be able to trace who is receiving money and just have some information. And they're hoping that this information that they uh, will gather will help them trace the, you know, the source of funds, where funds are going to, and probably curb corruption, curb financial crimes, curb fraud, and also... Uh, generally curb criminality you know so these are some of the reasons that uh, uh, the central bank has advanced for this so uh, just bear in mind that these new narrow notes come into existence from the 15th of December 2022 and that's why I've been asking you know uh, for those who floated the story of bandits in Zamfara asking for new narrow notes I mean where are the notes you know so uh, probably that may have been you know uh, a sensational one um, so the new narrow notes would, would come, you know, in, into existence on the 15th of December 2022, and the old narrow notes uh, will cease to exist or to be used as legal tender uh, on the 31st of January 2023. Now, some people also feel that this is too hasty and it's too fast. Some feel that, uh, you know, the, you know, standard practice around the world you can look at the uk you know when they introduce a 50 pound note is they really give a lot of time for people uh, all over the country to be able to you know get their monies changed into the new notes and you look at those in the in the hinterlands and those in the rural areas those in the villages those who uh, have to go a long distance probably trek 
to have access to financial services to a bank, uh, the suspicion by those who are saying the time is limited is that these people may be caught napping. And that is the, the challenge. Now, and a question on my mind is, you see the designs are the same, all right? This was not a redesign as we know it. But if you want to look at technically, technically maybe it might qualify to be described or defined as redesign because the colors were changed. Um, but is it possible that people in the hinterlands who have not had the information, because people have talked about the Central, Central Bank of Nigeria's information management, dissemination, public enlightenment as not being enough, is it possible that we may still see some Nigerians using the old Narai notes beyond uh, January 31, 2023? It's a question uh, on our minds. Is it possible that people will reject these ones and may think that, oh, uh, some persons, uh, these this Narai notes are fake? because they don't know about the change. Is it possible? Uh, because it looks so similar to the old one. And the old one, if you look at the 200 Naira note, you might be tempted to think that the old one is the original. You look at the 500 Naira note, you might be tempted to think if you're an uninformed person that the old one is the original one and this is fake. However, um, a lot of information dissemination, public enlightenment, information management needs to go into this. And uh, hopefully the Central Bank of Nigeria will do the needful Otherwise, we will see people rejecting these new Naira notes and say, oh, it's fake money. Also, if care is not taken, because of the short time uh, frame we have to, you know, to, to get rid of the old Naira notes, people may still use the old ones because it looks similar. People say, oh, ah, and it will still be in the system. <laughs> as long as I give it to you, you collect it. And then you give it to me, I collect it. <laughs> you know, it may still be in the system because it looks so similar. You know, I mean, people were still spending, I think, was it a Biafran pound? at some point so it may take some time this i think they will have to grapple with um there's a lot to look at you know regarding this we can't take it all uh there are some security features if we zoom into well, someone brought this to my attention yesterday if you zoom into the notes especially the 1000 someone said hey if you have the old 1000 naira note with me i don't know what you want to have in my pocket can i <laughs> can i you know uh, i have the old 1000 naira note with me uh Okay, so I'll take, I'll take out a 500 Naira note. Now, this is, an, okay, this is an old 500 Naira note. I think it's about to be old. Now, he was saying that um, if you look at the, the engravement on the 1,000 Naira note, you have something like uh, a, a seal, you know, somewhere here. You have something like a seal somewhere here on the old 1,000 Naira note. Um, but he, he pointed out to me that you don't have, um, you don't have the coat of arms. You know, you don't have the coat of arms. Sorry, it's not looking too new. Maybe that's why the CBN wants to, to take these out so they can have new ones. You don't have the coat of arms on that seal. The Nigerian coat of arms is not on that seal. But on the new one, you have the Nigerian coat of arms, you know, on the seal. Um, so that's another, another difference. You have uh, the Nigerian coat of arms on the seal. So the Central Bank of Nigeria, they have said that, um, you know, there are security details and security features on the new note that makes it difficult for you to counterfeit it, that makes it difficult for you to duplicate it, that makes it difficult for you uh, to create fake ones. Um, and this is a problem, really. They may not be saying it all the time, but it's actually a problem. You know, it's actually, people may have perfected over the years uh, the counterfeiting of the Nara notes, you know. So, um, I mean, someone said to me yesterday, you know, they should have at least changed the Namdi Azikiwe's face now. Uh, they should have changed his cap now. It's the same. And I said, so these things, are, they don't matter. That's not the real deal, you know. Um, if, if they want to change the color of the, of the pound, they won't change the queen's clothes. You know, God bless her soul. Or King Charles's clothes. It's the same thing, you know, because you can't go and draw a new Namdi Azikiwe and then add, this is a picture, this is portrait, you know. So I, I think we need to slow down on, on government bashing. I know we have a, a compulsive um, uh, uh, attitude towards um, a reaction, you know, uh, towards government things that concern government that we normally will bash the government of the day because we don't trust them. Um, I myself, like you, uh, most of you, was disappointed to see that it wasn't anything new. But hey, the most important thing is that they're, is they're facing out the old ones and whether the designs were new or not, whether they changed the the cap of Funam de Azikiwe or not, they change his, uh, his smile or not, they will still take out these old ones and the resultant effect will be the same, okay? For me, it's like having a vehicle that has a nice body, a great body, 
you know, superb design, but the engine is bad. For me, the engine in all of this is the aim, the objective. Um, I think that is more important than the design. To me, that's more important than the design. So we'll leave it at that. Um, we'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so you can see there are security features here. All right, there are security features here that you can't see with the bare eye. But when you look at the new Nara Notes, you notice that the security features are, are different. All right, the security features are different. If you look at this, you see that there's a, a sort of a silver line down the middle. Now, this silver line down the middle is a security feature. So when you take the new Nara Notes, according to the Central Bank of Nigeria, they, the, 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 the details in these security features are different. The details in this security feature are decent. Forget about the design, all right? Okay, so the security details in this picture, are totally different, totally different. Um, also, what they're saying is that it would be difficult to counterfeit. You know, it's a big problem, right? big problem, really big problem of counterfeiting. All right, so we'll leave it at that. Um, please, if you have any of these Naira notes with you, you feel... You don't have the time to go to the bank uh, to to change. You can reach out to me <laughs> and give the, give it to me. Bring them to me, and I'll help you uh, dispose them of handsomely. You know, which is used to buy some food or something. All right. So that's that. It remains to be seen if if uh, anything, uh, I mean, possible will come out of this. The effects on inflation, effects on on the naira. Uh, but the funny aspect of all of this, the funny aspect of all of this, some Nigerians said, I think I'll take Senator Shea Hussani's um, comment uh, on Twitter yesterday. This was Senator Shea Hussani, former member of the Nigerian National Assembly, uh, representing Kaduna, I think Kaduna South or so. I need to be sure. But he's from Kaduna State all the same. He said something very interesting. And he said that, um, I mean, it was really just a, you know, um, a, a, a lighter play at things. He said, even it's the narrow color. Uh, the CBN should have just engaged Snapchat, <laughs> you know, uh, should have gone to Snapchat. In fact, people now began to say that this is a, not redesign. It is a Snapchatification of an air. Some people took pictures of a Mayfield and then changed it and just made it green and said, what's the difference? It's the same man. It just says looking green, you know. Another funny comment I saw, someone said, uh, Dami Elevi on Twitter said that they used the remaining paint from the former 10 Naira 20 Naira and 50 Naira. You know, the former 10 Naira was red. The former 20 Naira uh, was, um, was green before they made, they, they made it the polymer notes. And then the former 50 Naira uh, was blue, you know. So they, she says they used the remaining uh, paint from the former 10, 20, and 50 Naira. Maybe the plan uh, was to use the former colors to, of the smaller Naira bills to confuse the dollar. <laughs> you know, it's a funny one. But interestingly, this is the second time Muhammad Buhari, as leader of Nigeria, uh, will be uh, in power and, you know, ensure that the Naira notes are changed. Uh, in 1983 or 1984, when he was military head of state, something similar happened. So that's one for the history books that uh, we have to remind you of. We'll take a break now. Uh, we're way over time and uh, we'll, uh, we'll pause at this juncture. We'll be right back with more right here on The Breakfast. Please stay with us.